This video will cover the step-by-step -step cleaning of any Scotsman Prodigy Plus nugget or flaker machine manufactured before August of 2020. To begin the process, press and release the red off button. On the back of the door, a scannable QR code will easily access warranty info, manuals, and other helpful information specific to this unit. Next, remove the front panel by removing the two screws in the bottom corners. From the bottom, pull gently forward and down to remove the front panel from the machine. Next, remove the screws at both the top and bottom of the front edge of the right panel. To fully remove the right panel, push the top panel up and pull the right panel forward. After removing the right panel, Turn the water off by twisting the knob on the water reservoir lid a quarter turn counterclockwise. In older units, instead of a knob, a lever is used to turn the water off. Next, remove the water reservoir lid by releasing the tab in the front and then pulling up and forward. Next, remove the drain hose from its bracket Take out the red plug and drain all the water from the reservoir and freezer into a bucket. Once complete, replace the hose plug and place the drain hose back into its bracket. In preparation for the descaling process, mix a solution of 3 quarts of warm water and 8 ounces of Scotsman Clear 1, the approved scale remover for all Scotsman machines. Proper dilution ratios can be found in the user manual or on the label inside the machine. Using an improper ratio of Scotsman Clear 1 can damage the machine and should be avoided. Next, fill the water reservoir to the fill line with the properly diluted scale remover. Using a funnel or smaller measuring cup is a good idea to avoid overfilling the reservoir. Now that we are ready to initiate the clean cycle, press and release the yellow clean button on the control panel. The display will show C for clean and the time to clean light will flash. The machine will then begin to turn the auger and circulate scale remover throughout the freezer to dissolve any scale built up on the walls of the freezer. After 20 minutes, the compressor will kick on and make ice with the scale remover for a second 20 minutes. At this point, stay next to the machine and top off the reservoir as needed. If all the scale remover is used before the end of the second 20 minutes, simply turn the water to the reservoir back on and allow the machine to complete the clean cycle. Once the clean cycle is completed, the machine will return to the off position and the time to clean light will turn off. It will remain off for another six months and then light back up when the machine will need to be cleaned again. Drain any remaining scale remover from the machine. melt, or discard any ice made during the cleaning cycle. The machine should then be sanitized using a locally approved sanitizer. Recommended sanitizer and dilution ratios can be found in the user manual. After ensuring the water flow to the machine is off, add sanitizer directly to the reservoir. Turn the machine on by pressing and releasing the green button on the controller. Then, switch the water supply to the machine back on and allow the machine to operate for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, turn the machine off, drain the machine, and then melt or discard any ice made during the process. Now is a good time to inspect the bearing and re-grease if needed. A bearing check should be completed every time the unit is cleaned. Start the process by pushing the bail clamp back and removing the chute cover. Next. Unscrew and remove the ice sweep. Followed by the watershed. The breaker cover, which is reverse threaded, can then be removed. At this point, the condition of the grease can be evaluated. Normal wear on the bearing will cause the grease to become gray over time, 
which is an indicator that the bearing needs to be re-greased. If the grease is extremely dark, watery, rusty, or has any visible metal flakes, the bearing should be replaced. Scotsman sells both the appropriate grease needle and grease for this job. The Scotsman grease changed in 2020 from white to a caramel color. Once it's been identified that the bearing needs to be re-greased, first start by removing all the old grease sitting on top of the bearing. Next, the old grease sitting between the rollers of the bearing needs to be removed. Using a grease gun with Scotsman grease and a Scotsman grease needle, gently insert the grease needle between two rollers as shown in this photo being careful not to puncture the lip seal beneath the bearing. As the fresh grease is applied, it will replace the old grease by pushing it up and out on top of the bearing. Insert fresh grease in between each roller until all the old grease has been replaced and fresh grease can be seen coming out. Continue this process around the entire bearing. Now that the new grease has pushed all the old grease up and out, remove and discard all excess grease sitting on top of the bearing rollers. Next, place a generous amount of fresh grease on top of the bearing rollers. If needed, use a finger to make sure the entire surface is covered. Before reassembly, clean off any grease from around the bearing housing. To reassemble the unit, first inspect both the lip seal and the O-ring on the breaker cover for damage and replace if needed. Confirm both are properly seated before hand tightening the breaker cover, which as a reminder, is reverse threaded. Before the cleaning process is fully complete, it is important to remove several parts of the machine for extra cleaning. Since the ice chute and ice sweep were already removed to access the bearing, simply remove the upper ice chute Slide the bin control eyes out, and then remove the lower eye chute. All of these parts, the eye sweep, chute cover, and both the upper and lower eye chute, as well as the water reservoir lid and water level sensor, should then be cleaned using a nylon brush and a setup similar to this. Scrub each part with properly diluted scale remover, rinse, and then scrub again with properly diluted sanitizer and a final rinse. Before reassembling the machine, the bin eye should be wiped down with scale remover and then rinsed and dried thoroughly. After putting the lower eye chute back into place, install the bin eyes. Then, reassemble the upper eye chute. Screw the sweep back into place. Place the chute cover back on top and secure them all with the metal bail clamp. Then put the water reservoir cover back on starting with the back and then snapping the front back into place. Turn the water supply to the machine back on. Finally, turn the machine back on to resume normal ice production.